It's Derby Day. The city is alive with anticipation and the stadium is packed all the way to Rose Ed. No fan would want to miss this. Which side will rise to the occasion? All the drama next here on EA TV. Hello everyone. Well, I must say, we've been motoring to get here. We're in Germany's Autostadt at the Volkswagen Arena. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Wolfsburg up against Hannover. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. And a look at the starting 11 for Wolfsburg. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. I must say, this looks promising. Hovart Nielsen. And Schaub on the ball. Really determined play to hang on to it. Excellent defending. Svanberg. Mele. Lacroix. Now it's Ridley Baku. They're relying very much on their passing game in a bid to take the lead. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Phil Neumann. Schaub. And the ball back with Wolfsburg now. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Marcel Halstenberg. Phil Neumann. Fabian Kunze. Dame. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection. So now a throw in. Kunze. Dame. And that will be all for the first half. We're at the midway point here in the Autostadt. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't posed much of a threat so far, and that's down to a couple of things. Yes, the service hasn't been great, but his movement hasn't been good enough today. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Phil Neumann. And Schaub on the ball. And teammates to play it to. And he could be in proper trouble here. Yannick Gerhardt. Kevin Behrens. Svanberg 
And now it's Ridley Baku. Lacroix. Baku. Now we're into the final half hour. Effective challenge. Mele. Svanberg. Kevin Behrens. Kunze. And Schaub on the ball. Moving it forward. You can almost see their opponents racking their brains. How do we stop this? Jonas Vint just wasn't going to give that ball away. Kevin Paredes. Svanberg. Paredes. Yannick Gerhardt. Arnold. Can they grab the lead late on? Svanberg. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Dame. Good tackle. Jonas Vint. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. So away they go again, the first period of extra time and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. And across the touch line, so a throw in here. Say Muroya. Ernst. Alstenberg has it. Dame. A well, credit to him for the challenge and a throw in conceded. Sebastian Ernst. Kunze. And Schaub on the ball. Neumann Schaub Ernst and he's beaten him here and they couldn't quite muster a real threat half time in extra time and still they are level